Our top story this week concerns the ice storm which hit Kenyon College in the Gambier area with full force two weeks ago. The storm left much of the area without power and damaged many trees on campus. The most unfortunate victim of the Arctic blast was the white oak tree in front of Ross Hall. But how is Kenyon handling the cleanup after the storm and what efforts are being made to replace the beloved Ross Hall tree? I filed this story earlier. Certainly, Kenyon's beautiful landscape is dependent on its very large and aged trees. According to a survey done in 1978 by the Forest Service, 250 of Kenyon's 600 acres of land are forested. Kenyon has several old trees that are very healthy, and the college hires the services of a local arborist to maintain and fertilize the trees. The large Norway maple in front of the Church of the Holy Spirit holds a state record. Yeah, the Norway maple is a state record uh, uh, tree for the Norway maple class. And uh, the way they measure it, they measure it three different ways. Mm -hmm. They measure the trunk diameter, mm -hmm. they measure the height of the crown of the tree, and they measure the width of the span of the branches. And they take those three and make an average, and that, that's what they use as a guideline to make a, uh, a record tree. The 40 acres that make up the south end of the college or the college park are strewn with large oaks and maples. The forest survey said, however, that, quote, the soil seems too poor to support a heavy stand of oaks, end quote. The service attributed the soil's poor quality to Kenyon's long-standing practice of removing the leaves and underbrush each fall. This practice leaves the campus lawns looking great for convocation and for visit days, but prevents the soil from regaining lost nutrients from decaying leaves. Poor soil strength and lack of nutrients in the root system are believed to be the cause of the collapse of the large oak in front of Ross Hall. Taking root sometime back in the late 1600s, this tree was halfway through its maturity when Kenyon College was founded. It is actually the second largest oak in front of Ross Hall to die in the last half century. An even larger and older oak died and was removed between Ross and Chalmers Memorial Library just five years ago. Most trees, you know, people don't realize it a lot of times, but trees have a lifespan just like people do. And uh, for a tree to reach 300 years old in Ohio and in this area is pretty remarkable. You know, and I would say probably the fact that it got that old was due to the, to the maintenance and the care that it, it received over the years. As it fell, the white oak, weighing several tons, nearly landed on and certainly terrified Kenyon seniors Susan Johnson and Sherry Davis. Many students gathered around the tree on the night of the storm. Some were in disbelief and some were in awe, but most were heartbroken. As you can probably see by my position, what's left of this almost 80-ton tree is nothing more than a tiny stump. And by the end of the week, there'll be nothing here but flattened level ground. Maintenance officials reported that two large cross sections of the tree are being put away until someone offers to preserve the samples as some sort of memorial to the fallen oak. A section of the white oak that died five years ago is also being stored for this purpose. Ross Hall certainly looks barren now that the tree has been completely removed, but the college has already announced plans to plant another white oak in its place. Uh, right now, they're, they're, they're making plans already to uh, put another tree in, which will be a white oak, Quercus, Quercus alba. Uh, they'll be putting it in probably this spring sometime, and they're going to find the largest tree that they could possibly get for that, and that will still survive the transplant. So I would say you'll be maybe looking at a 10 to 12 inch diameter tree will be replaced there. And mm -hmm. that's already in the works. They're starting to plan for that right now. But as you can see, there's almost nothing left of this 350 to 400 year old tree. What took nature just a few seconds to destroy is going to take nature about 350 years to recreate. For KCTV News out in front of Ross Hall, I'm Brennan Keefe.